everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And I thought it would be time to do a uh, update on my not that long ago repotted uh, Miltoniopsis those two and a beautiful big one in the back, the red one. If I don't forget I will put the links up to the unpotting videos if you are interested. And like I mentioned there, I would do some updates, so I think it's uh, it's time. I hope to see some growing root tips, because that would mean that I can start fill up the reservoir. So let's have a look inside of the pot, in the pot, and uh, go from there. So I did grab the not only abscesses for this video. We're gonna talk about on the table. Beautiful blooms, beautiful big one. This one has a quite a large root system, at least when I uh, did unpot it. And we will have a look at the, at the roots, I hope, if I can do it like this. On top, at least, we have some growing root tips. I will do a uh, closer look uh, after I did get it out of the pot. I have my little handle here, so I can pull it out of the pot a bit more easier. And... I see growing roots. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, I think you can see them. I have two. One here and one there. So that's beautiful. Basically, that's all what I needed to know. And I have another one here, just right above my finger. But the more the better, of course. But only if I have one growing root up, we have another one here. It's very teeny tiny, but it's green. It's growing. So we have already four. This one just grew on. I can see it by by how it's, uh, it's finding its way through the media. Five. So yeah, this one uh, will have a reservoir. And also on top of the pot, you see here is a new root there and there. New growth. So yeah, this one is doing fantastic. I'm so happy. So yeah, this one can absolutely have a reservoir with water from now on. So this new roots will adapt to that reservoir, to that very moist situation in the pot. So yeah, this is what, what I was uh, looking for. And I never had that success with uh, a Miltoniopsis freshly repotted and having bloom spikes on it. I always got the bloom spikes, but this one is, is such a strong plant. I uh, didn't need to do it... Uh, so far, but this this spike is almost going over, but this one is still there, and the bulbs do uh, look uh, beautiful. So this is a very strong. This is yeah, I never had it happen with a Miltoniopsis, looking so good after a repot with flower spikes on. So that means something. That means that this the seller, or and at least the uh, orchid grower, did did do a wonderful job. I must admit. Okay, second one. Oh yeah, I think the well, first start is here. I hope you can see them in the pot. Yes, fresh roots. So this one will have a reservoir as well. I would love to see a few more, but maybe I'm asking for a little bit too much. Oh no, there it is. Beautiful, another one. And <clears throat> this is the white one that we did repot, and it's doing okay. Yes, it is. So a little less, but this plant was in an, uh, not absolutely not in the same condition. But it's taking off. And this one, I did cut the flower spikes for that reason. It's a little bit shriveled, but it's uh, working on two new growths. So uh, yes, also this one can go, uh, can have a uh, reservoir. A little bit, so a little bit water there left. I keep them damp. Not only upside, just grow them on as I would have uh, have them in bark. So because I don't want to dr let them dry up, obviously. But the last one, I'm kind of excited. It would be very beautiful if this one. Yes. Oh yes. Look at that. That was the first one I saw, and here another a branch of an old root. So that's beautiful. So this one can have a reservoir as well. Let those do roots adapt. <laughs> I was lucky, I think. I just took this side. I saw this side first. This only side that I can see uh, new roots on. 
But as you can see, we have a new growth here and here. So that's two new growths. And we have another new growth here, but behind that it's a very teeny tiny new growth as well. A new growth here and a new growth here. So although it wasn't in the best shape, it is a Miltoniopsis that, uh, that has some energy left, luckily. So uh, this is the red one with the dark heart, dark center, dark lip. We call it the heart in, in the Netherlands, I think. That's why I uh, keep calling it like that. But uh, yes, so we uh, all three of them can have a reservoir. That's beautiful. That makes life so much easier. You can imagine that I really have to keep an eye on those if they don't dry out, if they don't, don't are too wet. But now, um, because they all start making new roots, we have the hardest part done so far because now the roots can settle in. I don't have to repot them. If I ever have to repot them, it would be an up potting. So that's different. That means it just needs a bigger, bigger pot. I don't have to mess with the roots because I grow in inorganic media. I love it. I love it. So yeah, this is it. Let's uh, let me prepare some water and. Um, and then uh, we will fill up the reservoir. That makes it uh, a little bit more complete, this video, don't you think? So <laughs> I will grab some wa water and... Uh, oh wait, let me quickly show you guys. Here we have that harmonica shape going on. That's normal because it now cannot rehydrate uh, hydrate itself uh, uh, as it should. Because it's in a transition period without uh, not a, such a good root system. But that's okay, we will have a few of those leaves. But then once it's, once it's settled, it should be over. So I will grab some weather, oh, weather, water and uh, fill up the reservoirs. So what I did was I put some uh, reverse osmosis water in this can. It's uh, about three liters. I don't need that much, I think, but I uh, like to have at least enough. I did put in a little bit of Calmac and a little bit of seaweed. A little bit more calcium than seaweed, but uh, I just want to give you the reading so you know it's really, really a teeny tiny bit. Um, it's, uh, I hope, yeah, 28, you can see it, 28 parts per million, it's very low, because these are settling in, they don't need that much food because they cannot uptake it, uh, but I like to have it in there for our, for, uh, yeah, the, the moment where the roots are uh, starting to take in nutrients, I like to have it a little bit around the roots, and I'm going to check the pH, um, Maybe I need to adjust it a little bit. Yes, I will. It's now 7.1. So I want to, to have it a little bit lower. So I have my pH down solution and I try to only just a teeny tiny bit in. You don't need much, just a little drip there. Could be enough already. Sometimes we need a little bit more, but most of the times I'm always surprised the amount I need. <laughs> Just oops, where is my camera? 6.6. .6. I like it to be a little lower. This medium will uh, do rise the pH a little bit, so therefore I can uh, can have it a little bit lower. So it will do another drip. Excellent. Oops, I'm almost. Almost had two in, but I think I need only one. Stir it a bit, and there we go again. It's now 5.86, so around 5.8, 5.9. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, I will. Grab this little one. It's a little bit easier to get it in a pot with the, because of the uh, shape of this pot. And let me see if you can see the water meter. It's here, and you probably should uh, arise that uh, red uh, thing in there like this, something like. Oops, my hand is in the way. I hope you can see it. But let's start uh, filling this reservoir up. Mm. 
so it can adjust. There you go. I hope you can see it. So now I, now I know there's enough water in that reservoir. Let's do the next one. Same story. And there you go. Can I have a little bit more? Like that. And then we have only this one. And I did place it in a little bit awkward position, but there it is. That water meter I was talking about. <laughs> this should be enough. And here we go. Let's keep an eye on that, on that water meter. I cannot even see it. It's behind the leaf. Yeah, there we go. And there it's coming out. Can have a little bit more. Just a bit. And there you go. So now we've filled up the reservoirs and I can now place them back on the shelf. So I place them back uh, in their original spot on my shelves and now they can uh, grow beautiful roots and uh, roots that will be adapted to the new situation. And I think here are the, is the rest. Yeah, I think it's it's yeah, it, I think it's uh, pretty pretty easy to do. Uh, you need to get yeah a little bit of experience maybe, but um, yeah, this is the easiest way that I can probably show it. But of course, you can always ask questions. I really don't mind if you are interested in this method or something similar, or you just are curious. No problem. I'll just ask the questions, and I will get to them as soon as I can. And hopefully, um, <laughs> I don't think this year. Maybe next uh, spring. But we hope we will uh, see some blooms, some beautiful spikes like these guys. Just recently noticed that the. Uh, in the back is opening as well that spike yeah, that would be fantastic to have this shell filled with blooms again thank you for now and i really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye